You know what? If we're talking about using AI to displace artists, let's just let's take it at a commercial level, say advertising and marketing, because it's cheaper and because we can mimic the best possible outcome. That sort of mentality is just one of the things that we have to think about ethically. Welcome to this episode of Help Me Understand with Dr. Thomas Jeffrey. I would like to ask you to subscribe. We were having about four, getting closer to 5% of people subscribing. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And I would like to hear your comments, especially if you uh, don't agree with me. I, I ask you to um, you know, at least have some respect. Here's one, a fascinating tech, but it can and will be used in the most unethical way possible, especially since every person's understanding of ethics differs. I think it is going to be more impactful than the invention of photography, internet, and Photoshop combined. And we are yet to see what exactly the impact will be. Rough time ahead. I definitely understand that sentiment, not just thinking that it's going to be negative impacts, but one of the things that we, we do know uh, about humanity is that in, in the wrong hands that things can, uh, can, can be very serious and very bad. When we're talking about a tool uh, like AI, I think there is concern. There will be rough times ahead because we need to start making decisions about morality and ethics. So I appreciate and, and fully understand where the user's coming from. Ask that we also look at the benefits, that we also understand that these things can be uh, and are going to be a benefit, that it's just not going to be rough times ahead for uh, everything. Here's a comment from Pipkin5287. I really appreciate the professor's take on the copying of the style of artist. It's one of those things I find particularly insidious about the whole is AI art question. Style is something that is privately curated over years of working. It can be one of, if not the biggest selling point for an artist's work. For someone to prompt a program to copy, it feels grossly invasive and extremely dishonest to me. Well, thank you for the comment. and. I, I, I'm glad that you agree, and, and I think that um, some harsh words there about insidious, but you know what? If we're talking about using AI to displace artists, let's just let's take it at a commercial level, that we want to displace artists that would normally do, like, say, advertising and marketing, because it's cheaper and because we can mimic to the best possible outcome what's out there. That sort of mentality is just one of the things that we have to think about ethically. Art that's being created um, by AI for the purposes of marketing to other people in order for them to buy something, I don't know that I would call that insidious or, or maybe not nefarious, but I think that when we program, and, and, and many authors talk about this, Bostrom and uh, Markov both talk about the idea that w w where's the decision about programming humans out of the uh, pro process? Who gets to make that decision and, and why do they get to make that decision? Well, I'll tell you number, how to answer that is whoever owns the AI will be making those decisions and if they want to cut cost and not have to deal with uh, the, the, uh, the human creative and try to make art that is just as creative but lower cost and they can have that robot or that AI working day in and day out that they only have to pay for one, uh, you know, let, let's set it up and, and uh, you know, buy it. That's programming humans out of that particular process and I, I don't think that that's right. The other thing is trying to mimic um, what artists are doing that, as you, as you mentioned here, years go into a, a, a person honing their art and, and finding their place in the art world. That's, that's no small feat to be that, being that creative and, and that good at your craft. Maybe there's a space for robotic art and maybe that space has to have some different parameters. It's not the robot creating the art, it's the programmer who's developing the AI to be able to make the art. And those are two different fields. I guess there should be discussion about how that overlaps. I think we devalue the, that art form, the, the, the idea of being an artist and what that takes.
you know, it used to be that we just thought that, hu that robots and, and AI were going to take the place of uh, blue collar workers. Well, what we know now in particular is that white collar workers are just as at risk and now it's invading the creative space. I think there needs to be discussions. Thank you for your comment.